it's Sarah the other age here and oh my god I'm actually back I'm actually here in front of the camera talking to you guys it's been a while it's been at least like let's see seven months now I have not uploaded a video um, I am so so sorry for that I'm sorry I'm sorry I feel like I abandoned you guys but you guys have never left like and I've even gotten some new subscribers so it's just like you guys still love me you know, life happens. Um, I just didn't feel like being on camera. Um, I just wasn't really feeling good about myself. Um, like a lot of personal things going on, work, um, just a lot of different things. But now I'm back. I'm feeling better than ever. And I'm here to give you guys some great videos again. And I hope that you guys stay. Because I know you've been here this long and I know you'll stay longer. And I really appreciate that. Again, thank you to all my new subscribers. Like, Thank you for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. Thank you so much. Today, back at it again with another video. Something that I think you can all relate to, as I always say. Annoying things, or actually, annoying types of people on Facebook. Okay? We all know these people. Matter of fact, you're thinking about them right now. You have a few names in mind. Well, don't worry. I'll get to it for you one person that seems to get a vacation like every single month meanwhile you're sitting at home on the toilet trying to figure out what's wrong with your life like why am I not going on vacation every single month huh why why and then every other week they have a new bag new Gucci bag new Louis Vuitton bag new Chanel bag meanwhile you're just going to H&M just trying to look cute for the weekend okay what's wrong like why these people do that like why do they feel the need to show everything that they have like why don't you show us like the hard work that you put into getting it huh so that we can feel better about ourselves okay like why just stop posting your stupid Chanel bag yeah, I'm gonna start posting my H&M bag okay that's what I'm gonna start doing yes that type of person yes the fabulous lifer on Facebook the fabulous lifer on Facebook vacations every week living it up while you're sitting on your toilet at home scrolling through your newsfeed again trying to figure out like why is my life so imperfect like lord what am i doing wrong i'm just here just trying to make a dollar okay number two the rancher everybody knows that guy or that girl that has a problem like with everything in life like you just sitting at home like are you this angry or that guy that always has a reason or always has an explanation as to why us girls do what we do like they always have something to say girls this why females this why females that we all know that one guy okay that always has to talk ish about what we do and why don't you focus on what you're doing and stay out of our female problems and female issues okay and number one I don't like the word female because female can be anything it can be a dog a cat a mouse like no I'm a woman so stop saying females always females is fe stop okay it's annoying yes yeah, so we all know that we all know that person who always has to rant about something McDonald's you know they didn't you know they didn't get the right word why are you going to McDonald's who's still shops at McDonald's that's what I want to know why are you still going to McDonald's I just have to like turn off the news feed. Like I have to hide their notification. I'm like, I, I don't want to hear it anymore. Stop complaining. If you don't like what you're doing, do something else. <laughs> Number three, the serial liker. Okay, like we all know that person who just likes every single post of yours. Every single one. Like you even post for two seconds and you over here liking my stuff. Like you are a little thirsty. Like you need to calm down. You need to stop liking my stuff so much. I mean, I do appreciate the likes, you know, because it makes me feel good. But no, it's been two minutes, okay? Can you wait at least, have some pride about yourself. At least wait five minutes before you start liking my stuff, okay? And then you have those people that are barely on Facebook, but they, somehow they know everything that's going on in your life. Oh yeah, girl, I saw that you were at, um, at Chipotle the other day. What? Chipotle, what? How do you know? You haven't been on Facebook since 1993. What do you, how do you know what I'm doing? And they always pop up, always liking your stuff, but they never want to post anything. Yeah. Yeah, you hypocrite. Then, number four, you have those virtual lovers. You guys. <laughs> number four, the virtual 
lovers like who feel the need to tag their boyfriend girlfriend husband wife into every thing that they're doing I find that to be like so annoying it's not because I'm jealous because I'm not jealous but we all know that person like like they'll tag the person like Simone Simone knows why I'm angry with her today really did you really need to like make a like post that like was that necessary or Simone um, make sure dinner is ready tonight like what like why why you could have just called her and said that or be like Simone what are you doing later what are you doing today oh I know we're going out to dinner okay we know we know and then you have the ones that post these like long love letters to their significant other like seriously you couldn't just like send that in a text like why does that need to be posted on Facebook like I get that you're in love but yeah, I'm gonna need you to do that somewhere else, you know, because us people out here who are struggling do not need to see that, okay? You just make it harder for us, okay? We just have to go, go in our room and start crying because of you. Just kidding. I don't cry. But yeah, it's like really annoying. Like, you could have just said all that you needed to say in her face or through a text message, not through Facebook. People want us to believe that their life is perfect. Just kidding. No offense to you guys who are out there. God bless you doing what you're doing but it's a little it's a little annoying you could have told Simone that you know you were going to the gas station you could have texted her that you didn't have to you know tag her on a Facebook status the pokers the ones that still use the poke feature on Facebook like I don't really under like why are you poking me that is so inappropriate like I I don't I don't, uh, I don't like you and then you also have the guys or the girls that will message you like over a hundred times but they just don't seem to get the picture that you're not interested and like now you have like Facebook messages like one two three four five and no response you're not responding but they don't get it and they keep poking you they keep messaging you it's like really annoying stop poking me like that's a little weird just because you're not actually poking me but you're acting like the word but it's just still weird it's just stop then you have that person who deletes their Facebook like every five seconds and then reactivates, deletes, reactivates. Like, girl, what is up with you? Like, what really, what is going on? Like, why are you constantly like on and off? It's either you're here to stay or you're here to go. Okay, pick a side, all right? Stop, delete. like, I've been looking for you to like share stuff with you and then all of a sudden you're gone again, you're a ghost. Like, you're, you just vanish. Like, come on. Like, decide, do you want to be on Facebook or do you do not want to be on, like, which one is it? Stop deleting your Facebook every five minutes. I mean, I do delete my Facebook every now and then just to take a break, but I know people that it seems like every other week they're deleting their Facebook then reactivating, like, you know why they reactivate? Because they want to see what's going on in your life to make sure you're not doing better than them. I know these people. I know how they work. I know how they roll. They delete their Facebook, take a break, then come back and spy on you. <laughs> we all know they all do that. That's what they do. They just want to make sure you're not even a step above them. But I see you, boo. I see you. <laughs> well, that's the end of my video today. I thank you guys so much for spending time with me today for watching me again after seven months like I keep repeating that like I don't want to remind you guys I don't know that long but I'm so grateful that you chose to be here today to watch my video I hope that you enjoyed I hope that you could relate I hope that I lifted a burden for you I hope you get it and for those people that I'm talking to you know who you are you know who you are okay stop doing them things okay thank you to all my new subscribers and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button somewhere down there and I hope to see you guys again in my next video.